Hi people, in this video I'm going to explain to you the command loft for adding the third dimension on surfaces. Let's go through it. With loft, we can create a solid from cross sections. The simplest way to use loft is having two surfaces. Let's look at this example. I'm going to draw a circle here. Then, from the center, I draw a line on the direction of the z-axis. Then, from the top endpoint, I draw a circle on the xy plane. Now, I am going to activate the command loft. If you don't find there, click in this arrow and should be one of this list. I select both surfaces. Press Enter. Then, choose Select Cross Sections. And this is the result. For the second example, I'm going to draw another circle from the line midpoint. I activate loft again, select the three surfaces and press enter. The order of selection also determines how the solid is drawn. For the third example, let's do it differently. I select the circle at the bottom then the top and finally the middle one. Of course, you have to imagine what you want to draw. If you try to draw a solid that is not physically possible, the program will adjust it for you and the result may not be as you expected. Select a point. Apart from selecting surfaces, we can still select points. For example, here we choose the circles. Then we want to loft to this point. If we look to the command bar, the prompt says select cross sections in lofting order or these options. I click on point or type PO. Finally, I can click on the point and select cross sections. Another way to use loft is through a path. This time I draw a rectangle on the xy axis. Next, I want to snap to the geometric center. I click on the arrow next to the object snap and check if that mode is on. Now I'm going to click on the UCS and change it to the center of the rectangle. By hovering the polyline, I can see it appearing. I place the UCS there. Then I rotate the UCS axis in order to have the plane XY perpendicular with the rectangle. In this way, for example. My next step is drawing a spline from the center of the rectangle. When I finish, I press Enter to place the object. Now I return the UCS to the word position. Then I draw a circle on the endpoint of the spline. So I'm going to use loft again, select the rectangle and the circle, press enter. Now in this list I click on path and finally select the spline. Issues using the command loft. I am going to focus on a problem that also happened to me. It's about using the polyline as a path. Look at this example. Here I'm going to draw a polyline from the center of this rectangle. I draw it with several segments until I reach the center of the circle. I turn on loft. Select both surfaces. And when I click to use the polyline as a path, I realize it doesn't work. At this moment, on the command bar, we can read Select entities are not valid. Paths should be smooth curves, and splines or arcs are good to use here. However, it's possible to transform this polyline in a spline. I'm going to select it, 
Click with the right button. Here go to Polyline and then click on Spline Fit. As you see, the polyline was converted to a spline and now it's possible to use it as a path. A similar way to use path is with guidelines. I draw a spline from this midpoint and I connect it to this side of the circle. Then I make a second spline here. Using loft again, I select the surfaces and I choose the option Guides. I select both splines and the solid is created based on their way. Ok, this is the end of this tutorial. Thank you very much for watching and don't forget to subscribe to Cad in Black to get easy access to the full list of tutorials. If you think these videos are not enough for you, I can provide online private lessons. Just send me an email and I can give you all the details. Thank you and hope to see you next time.